Hello there, Miss Reuters friends. I'm so happy to see you again. Although we're not on live, I'm still so glad that you were able to hop on to see this read aloud video. So today we're going to be rereading re a book that we've already read this week, and it is called Meow and the Big Box. So I hope that you remember this book from the other day, because while we're reading, I'm gonna ask you some questions about what you might remember about this book and what Meow does with his big box, okay? So let's go ahead and start rereading this book. So remember, this book is called Meow and the Big Box. So this is the title of the book, and this right here, friends, the front of the book, is called the cover. So again, the title is Meow and the Big Box. This is Meow. Meow is a black cat. Hello, Meow. This is Meow's big brown box. So remember, Meow has a box just like we had in our classroom. Meow carries the big brown box. You're strong, Meow. So just like we did the other day, can you show me your big, strong muscles, friends? Good, you look strong just like Meow. Meow likes the color red. Meow has some red paint. And do you guys remember what Meow does with that red paint? He paints the box. Meow paints the big brown box. So the box was brown, but now he's going to paint it red. Good job, Meow. Give Meow a thumbs up for doing a good job. Because remember, thumbs up means good job. Meow is going to cut a hole in the big red box with scissors. Be careful, Meow. Remember, be careful means to take your time and make sure you watch what you're doing so you don't get hurt. He has to be careful because he's using sharp scissors. Well done, Meow. Meow has a big green block, a little orange chair, and a blue mug. Now let's sit and think. Do we remember what Meow does with all of this stuff? Hmm. Do you think you know? Hmm. Well, let's see if you're right. Meow climbs on the chair and then the block. He puts the blue mug on the big red box. And remember, he should be careful again because that's not a very safe choice. What can Meow be making? Hmm. Let's see. <gasps> Meow puts the chair in the big red box. Then Meow climbs in. So he's going inside the box. He's putting the chair in the box. That's what in looks like. See, Meow's outside the box and the chair is going in. The mug is on top of the box. <gasps> wee -oo, wee -oo. Meow has made his very own fire engine. <gasps> That was so creative. That was a very smart thing for Meow to do with his box. <gasps> clever, Meow. Clever, remember, means good idea. The word clever means good idea. He was being very smart. And that is the end of Meow and the Big Box. So we saw that Meow could make something out of a box. And you know who else showed me that they could make something out of a box? Our friend Xavier. Xavier found a box and he made a little garage for all of his um, cars and toys. That was such a smart thing to do. So Xavier took a box and he made something new with it because we don't always have to throw our boxes away. We can keep them and use them for something new 
or we could use them to put things in. You can do lots of things with boxes. So if any of my other friends decide to do something with a box, make sure you send it to Miss Reuter so I can tell all of your friends about it, okay? So Xavier, great job, buddy. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed rereading this story again about Meow. I think tomorrow, to keep on trend with all of the cats we've been reading about, I think we'll go back to reading Pete the Cat for a fun Friday book, okay? But you'll have to log on to see if we're reading about his buttons, or going to school, or his new shoes. So I hope you're excited for that tomorrow. And I also hope that you had an awesome day today during our lessons, learning more about boxes, and during small group. So I will definitely be looking forward to seeing all of your smiling faces in the morning because it will be a fantastic Friday. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your tonight, the, your night tonight though, on this awesome Thursday, okay? Enjoy your night, friends. I'll see you tomorrow.